The Henry Ford is joining that growing list of public venues affected by coronavirus concerns. The CEO announcing today that all public venues associated with the Henry Ford will close starting tonight. We decided to do it for one week and then reevaluate at that time. The closure took effect at 5 p.m. This was after the museum first closed the Ford Rouge factory tour. We got to go into the theater, but I, they were closing afterwards. We think it was important to make this decision. We attract thousands of people on a daily basis in many school groups. Um, we need to do our part to contain the spread of this very dangerous virus. Do it now. The DIA also announcing today it will close its public programs, including tours, field trips, and lectures, among other things, until mid-April in hopes of slowing the spread of COVID-19. Several local concerts and sporting events have been canceled, as has Detroit's St. Patrick's Day Parade. I understand that the precautions that they're taking right now is to control this thing, but um, we're going to get through this. Just today, Monster Jam at Ford Field announced it's postponed until July. Detroit Public Schools is suspending field trips, student assemblies, and out of the county or state travel. However, at this point, sports games and practices will continue as planned. Several area schools and more than a dozen colleges and universities are now opting for virtual learning in wake of the coronavirus. And those not already impacted by these precautions are planning for that possibility. We're going to go see the Cubs play the Cardinals in London this summer. And we're worried about that being canceled now at this point. If you're concerned about a specific school or event, it's best to check with them directly. However, we are updating a continuously growing list of cancellations in the Metro Detroit area. You can check that list on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting from the Henry Ford, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. All right, thanks so much, Jen.